three seconds, but you open. Be big. Sell him in. Tear him up. We get a rebound. Let's go. Oh. When you bring it here. Woo. I'm going to just take it away. Yeah, if it ain't there, I'll just clear out. But, you know, I'm going to have to make that cut once in a while. Keep mine. That's because they're trying to deny me the ball and not let me touch it as much as possible. So when he's bringing the ball in transition, I see the opportunity to reverse. I'm going to reverse. And a lot of times it's important to let your teammates know this way you don't catch them off guard with that cut. They can be prepared for it and throw the ball in advance. That pass can be an alley-oop. Sometimes it can be a bounce pass. Like Luke's such an incredible passer. He'll make that. He'll distinguish that. He'll, he'll know whether to throw it over the top or throw a bounce pass. Now, the reason why I do that is because I want Rodmanovich to get going. It's important because he's such a great shooter. I want to get him a look. I feel like he's not a part of this game yet, now, and it's important that I that I make him a part of that. So I know I can be a decoy on that strong side, and we can get him coming up for a three on that on the weak side. So he's trying to seal me in, free Finley up for that corner three. That's what I'm saying, uh-uh. Because I know what he's doing. I'm, I'm not going to let him do that. I'm, I'm going to be able to get out to that shooter. Here it is. There's a live play. Now here's the sequence. Now let's see if we can get Vladi over there. Nope, it's not there. So we'll bring it off for a screen roll me a fish. And now from here, the play breaks down. Now you got to try to make something happen. He has a tough defender. So... Bruce is going to contest it. He does a great job contesting. Bryant misfires. Parker gets the rebound. Two minutes. Two minutes. I enjoy playing Tony. He's so quick. And I, like, I like when I match up against little guys. Parker inside. You can use your size against him a little bit. Gets it out to Finley. Finley again. That ball fake. And knocks it down. It's, it's fun. All this is, it's... it's it's fun to me. There's no pressure in it. There's no fear. A lot of guys, I think, when they match up with other great players, there's a fear of embarrassment, you know, to guard them, afraid that they might look, make you look bad. I, I really don't care. It's just fun going up against them. If you're playing a great player, of course it's going to make you look bad sometimes, but that's part of the game. It is what it is. Great move. Oh, Parker. Pretty play with a little English. It's a great move by a great player right there. Much you can do about that. Wow, oh, wow. Oh. That's exactly what I was just talking about. So here he is coming at full head of steam. You know where he's going. I don't get the call. <laughs> I knew exactly where he was going because he loves that two step. Nobody does it better than D-Wade in the entire league. Maybe Manu Ginobili. D-Wade and Manu Ginobili do it the best. But Tony, Tony's got the same move. Huh? Well, at least you ain't got work as hard as you used to. I got you 40 times. How I feel to be on vacation? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, y'all had y'all fun now. That's just fun. That's just good conversation between two great competitors. Here comes Tim. You see, Tim does a good job staying hot. He uses his body extremely well. We got to try to complete against that. Unfortunately, it doesn't go for me, but my penetration has Tim come over for the help. That frees up Todd to slow down low in case I miss it. Todd does a great job recognizing that. Here's a corner shooter. Run him off the three-point line, make him do something else. And here's Tim doing the same exact thing that Powell just did. Size him up, see what's going on. Screen roll. Ryan steps back, says I'll take him. 
makes him do something, tackle. Gets over the screen, Brian Pulse, passed him and puts it in. See, and the reason why I got that is because Tim never really took the right line away from me. And that's poor defense by Tim Duncan right there. He's got to stay in front of the ball. I think he was worried about Powell the soul rolling. And as a result, he tried to stay between me and Powell going to the basket. And I had the length, so I was able to take it. So I hadn't taken it the whole game. And that time, I turned the corner and was real aggressive with it as opposed to baiting the defense. And I don't think he expected that. Pretty move for Kobe Bryant. He's got 13. Barker, coast to coast, and able to put it in with 3.1 remaining. Another great move by TP. At the end of the half, you know, that's one thing you don't want to give up, and unfortunately we gave that up. You don't, you don't want to give up a layup like that at the end of the game. Those are, those are momentum killers. Kobe before the game, everyone heard you say this is a statement game. These right interviews are always funny because you're, you're just out of breath. You're sweating half. like a pig. So make sure you can make your statement. <laughs> Oh, you have to capitalize on the easy opportunities. You know, miss a lot of layups. You know, had a lot of careless turnovers. And uh, you know, if we can do that, stay in our corner shooters, we'll be all right. Their two centers have three fouls apiece. They were already down a couple players. How do you take advantage of that now? Well, let's continue to go at them. You know, be aggressive, attack the room. Thanks, Kobe. So you try to catch your breath as best as you can, and I sound like a complete idiot. <laughs> so right now I'm already thinking about what's going on. And um, you know, what, what can we do better? So now is the time for us to collect ourselves and talk about what we're doing and what we're not doing. Go get it. Hey, on, uh, on Parker, you might want to wait till he jumps first. Let him jump first when he comes to the basket. Let him jump first. He's going to try to double pump every time he hits your body. Then, then go late. He's making it as hard as possible for him, that's all. You, know, you jump at the same time, he's, you know, he's really good at getting body and then finishing. Let him jump. Absolutely. Give him up who we not, like you got. Hey man, you know what? Hey, we make we make we make layups. And uh stop turning that pitch over, man. We could be up by double digits right now. Just gotta stay with it. Hey Vlad, you post up. Wait for people to get out the way. Because if you let them game defend, they can chop away at your foul, do whatever they want. You know you want to post and go at it. Let everybody clear out, then take a miss. Parker's got 18 points. This is a team defensive thing. You know, they get a little bump. Fish got a little bump up in half court. He ran by the rest of the whole team. He probably should have went and got the ball in his hand, though. Shoulda, woulda. You guys have to do the job on Parker as far as holding them up. Gotta go get them early. Make them, make them throw they stayed out of the foul I, I don't understand. That's because San Antonio plays such a different pace. And we just weren't doing our job defensively. We just blew too many assignments. And uh, as a result, they had 53 points. He blew the ball well. I'll say that. Body him. Body him. As soon as he turns back, That's 10 being physical. back up. Being physical. You, know, you, want to, you want to be able to dictate the tempo defensively. You, you don't want them as an offensive player dictating what you do defensively. You attack on offense, you got to attack on defense as well. You have to smack them. You're going to be standing there, the guy's going to be uh, jamming up. You got to lay a ball on him. You got to hit first. You know they're going to hit you. That's the one right there. But I expect to see more of that. Hey, he gonna beat us with that shot, guys. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. Make that shot. Yeah, Antonio's gonna beat you with three things: Tim Duncan, Manu Ginobili, Tony Parker. That's their bread and butter. And we lucked out because Manu's not playing. That's that door step. I know, I know, I know. I got fish and Tony over there. If I didn't like that jump shot, I was gonna go to fish and Tony over there on that pick and roll. That's that's a that's not an easy switch for me. I should have slipped to the basket right here instead of popping out. That's what I love about our relationship. Is we can talk about execution because we both love the same thing. We, we love basketball. We love details. We love we love that stuff. So Phil and I can just talk about the game nonstop all the time. And uh, this made me such a better player being able to have a coach that's so detail oriented. Good second half, a trap that ball. We called once and they got a layup for this. He turned it back to spin. This one, he's keeping this right here. So when he turned the spin now, he ain't getting that ground. You know what I'm saying? I basically grew up under his system. That's why I think the game and approach the game the way that I do because of what he and Tex Winter and Coach Clemens and Frank Hamblin and so on and so on taught me. At halftime, it's important to try to get that energy back. 
so a lot of times you come out with some sort of malaise to start the second half, and that's not good. You got to pick up with the same energy that you left off, even more so if you can. I heard Vladi let everybody clear out like I told him to at halftime and try to make a play out of that situation.